Uh, J. Scott, Profound J. Profound sound, and don't forget, Profound Travels. Uh, the world is ours, gifted, super saiyan powers, drifting, pimping, gotta stay away from the cowards. Profound J, that boy, Profound Hot, make your program stop so you can listen, feel it, get a whiff of this wisdom. But I ain't a preacher, man, I'm here to show a woman how to keep a man. I can show you how to leave a hand, evolve to your greatness, no distractions, all painless, zombie food for the brainless. Drag through the mud, the murder stainless, beating a box up, giving it some maintenance. Be careful, cause that one box is Satanist. Coming for me, boy, you done fucked up now. I tend to kick back and puff up loud. Float in the heavens as I touch up clouds. Goofy ass niggas, I'm here to shut up clowns. In the time approaching slowly. Divine time, hoping holy. Stay in focus only. Judge your young niggas, but you don't even know me. No worries, this ain't even a challenge. I stay doing daily damage. Break it down in English or wavy. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay Scott. AKA Profound J, coming back with you another episode of Profound Travels in Toronto this time. We're on our way from the airport, making way to the Airbnb in Korea town. So sit back and enjoy. All right, Profound Travels, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We just made it here, man. We in Korea town. Got a great deal. It's uh, May 30th, 2019. We have an upstairs three bedroom apartment. We paid about, uh, we paid four thirty nine for it. Split it three ways. That's like uh, a little over a hundred. Pardon my terrible math. So it's really like one forty a person, plus the direct flight from LAX is three hundred. Uh, so that's what four fifty all together, plus you know for three days and expenses, eating and traveling around. It could really be a six hundred dollar trip to be real with you. Floors. We have the second. We have a balcony. Overlooking the alley, not much to see as you can see right here. But nice little chill area, of course. Got the shower, washer, dryer. Hell yeah. Can you see John? I got the washer, dryer, bro. Wash my clothes. I love that about an Airbnb. Let's hike up here. Oh, wow. This is nice. This completes the experience, right? Wow. Oh, man, this shit is convenient, bro. Look at Koreatown, everybody. <clears throat> Got the boba, taekwondo, the white brick chicken joint. About to go get me some uh, food. Look at the city down there, y'all. Look at all the traffic. Just giving y'all some quick views of Koreatown before we head out tomorrow to touristy stuff or whatever. And check the nightlife video for everything we did at night, Jurassic Park and the food that's coming to you guys i promise and i'm, I'm getting some footage of it like the whole area has changed now yeah we, i think we're getting closer to the college st george up here driving to um, graffiti alley over here in uh shit i guess this is uh chinatown chinatown i'm about to let my drone off uh i think it's illegal for me to do it but i'm trying to sneak into the shit anyway because that is what i do get that good footage for y'all drone cracked it and everything i got home i was able to reconfigure it i got to super glue some plastic back together i have a warranty on it the lens was in good shape but like the sensor was cracked so the sonar didn't pick up like the 
the wall that it hit and the wind was carrying it. It was all bad. People staring at me. I was embarrassed and shit. Everybody just looking at me like a super spectator. Uh, Jalen Rose, as you guys see in the video, he was behind me with Molly. I didn't even know that when we took off the drone, but we saw him later. And then when we saw him, <clears throat> my boy wanted to talk to him and say what's up to him and get a picture. But he was acting Hollywood. I'm from L.A. I'm used to cats acting Hollywood, being fake or whatever. And he with his girl and his folks. He probably wasn't trying to be bothered by people. But we did see him talking and chatting it up with some Canadians. But when we said what's up to him, he kind of delayed and to speak to us to like after. But it's all good. I ain't tripping. It was fun. It was good to see somebody famous, I guess. Everybody was there for the NBA Finals or whatnot. Chinatown, they slinging nothing but duck and pork and stuff, doing their thing. You ain't ain't shit. What is he doing? Yes, be June and the weather be like this here in Canada, but that's what's up. This is one of the spots I have on the list for us to go to. Down here in Kensington Market, we got the Ethiopian. Black Madonna. John walked in here. Walked to a Jamaica store in Kensington. Kensington Marketplace. everywhere from around the world mexico italy uh jamaica ethiopia uh just all types of stuff man is out here like you want to get like a little cultural experience healthy foods healthy store I enjoy kids into market a lot i saw the like african jamaican italian all those different like stores and restaurants and the brother in the travel store was super nice and friendly you know showing me his new york times article and everything and Everybody around was like real nice. It was like a real, real vibrant, like, you know, popping type energy, you know. So I look forward to going back there again. I was excited to go to Weston Mall because when I travel, I love going to flea markets where I can buy like cheap stuff and bring it back for the family and get some stuff that's cultural. But I guess in this regard, Canada is kind of like America. A lot of the artwork was similar to what I can get at the Sloss and Swap meet here. A lot of uh, non-original paintings. A lot of, you know, Pakistani Arab people in there. Many were very nice. They were selling black art and things of that nature. The international food court thing, like that shit was like super misleading. It was only like one little stand outside and things were not cheap like you would expect at a flea market. It was just kind of a whatever thing. I mean, I'm glad I went to see it for myself, but uh, I can go without going there again next time for sure. Just so everyone know, when you're in uh, Western, um, Western Flea Market, there is a public restroom out back because I stopped and asked, I believe a Pakistani uh, people where it's at. Someone began to tell me, oh, it's like in the back. And then his boss stopped him and said, no, we don't have one. All because I didn't want to buy nothing from the shop. This is the third time I've been in Toronto and if I experienced some level of possible discrimination, racism, you guys are already familiar with the Korean guy from the store. Last night at the bar, this uh, Middle Eastern girl was talking to me. One of the guys she was with came up. She told me it wasn't her boyfriend, but he was being super rude to me when I tried to be polite to him. I guess this is a common thing here. But I'm about to go back over there where he's at and troll his ass real quick. 
Oh, thank you. I found the bathroom. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, I found the bathroom and I came back and made sure I told them, hey, thanks for showing me where the bathroom was. But the guy who was being a jerk, he was sitting in the back somewhere counting money or whatever, like withdrawn from everybody. So I really couldn't be super petty and troll him like I wanted to. But uh, like, trust me, I was like, I was kind of annoyed by it, to be real with you. distillery district i mean it was cool it was like real chill and everything like that i think we ate there got a veggie burger or whatnot they have ceremonies going on nice peaceful art uh people getting married singing or whatever it was real chill my boy Mel, he really enjoyed it there you know i'm not much of a beer person so we sat down and tried some beers the, the nice lady was helping us she messed up our order like five or six times but it was still all good it was a cool little spot to chill if you want to go there Overall, like, I had a blast there in Toronto. I mean, the people were friendly. I had a couple of little altercations, but it was nothing super aggressive or serious because being in America, you know, you kind of taught to be, react that things can go violent if you get into confrontations, but not there in Canada, not there in Toronto. It was real cool. We didn't get to do all the touristy stuff we wanted. We was only there for three days and a lot of stuff happened. It was a little cold outside, but we did go to uh, Koreatown where we stayed, Chinatown, Little Italy, Kensington Market. Uh, we didn't get to go to Lake Ontario and get the cruise going, but it's all good. Um, the people were, like I said, again, I can't emphasize this enough, people were nice. The women were, like, flirtatious, especially at night when they drunk. Like, women just come from everywhere and see you in your group or whatnot. Um, public transportation is good there. The trains are. Parking there is shitty. I do not recommend parking there. I got a parking ticket. I had to pay 50 uh, Canadian dollars for it. I was super upset. Like the signs were kind of confusing to read or whatever. Um, but honestly, it was good that we got a car to kind of like move around or whatever the case may be because we hit a lot of spots in three days and we would have been slowed down by like the train or the bus or whatever the case may be. But overall, like the shit was super dope. I would definitely go back there again in the summer when it's hot and when it's sunny or whatnot. Uh, party, eat, all that type of stuff. Experience the culture, talk to the people. It was great. I mean, like Toronto is like definitely like one of the most ethnically mixed places I've been to and ethnic, ethnically mixed where like it appears that people get along genuinely and they're trying to make it work there. And maybe that could be because the history of Canada is different than the history of the United States where like the United States is pretty much built on like killing native people, kidnapping black people to build the country up, you know, guns and violence is glorified here. And Canada's history is not perfect. There were French Indian wars and things that went on oppression that went on in some levels of genocide but nowhere near the magnitude of america so they have a different foundation therefore their future is a little bit different meaning that they appear to be more progressive than we are when it comes to making things work with all the ethnic groups and economics and how people live in the city and how they get along and how they just kind of live their life and, you know, I really enjoyed that. It was different for me. It was refreshing. You know, it gave me some level of peace, and I, I really appreciated that. So I look forward to going back there again. Profound Travels. Jay Scott, my boy Mel was with me this time. My cousin J Lo. Make sure you check the food uh, video coming up, the nightlife video, Jurassic Park. Also, make sure you check out all the other videos. We got more trips coming for you. We're going to, like, Trinidad in September. Hopefully, we get this Kenya trip going. I'm, I'm going back to Thailand soon. Man, it's on and cracking, I'm telling y'all. So thank you for tuning in, being supportive. Click subscribe, like, comment, whatever, dislike, just show some love some kind of way. All right, y'all. Check y'all later.